Welcome to Geometry Masterclass. In this video, we have a right triangle and a square, where one of the sides of the square coincides with the hypotenuse of the right triangle. The sum of the legs of the right triangle is A. The task is to find the distance between the right angle vertex of the right triangle and the center of the square. As we know, the diagonals of the square are perpendicular bisectors. So the triangle AOC is isosceles right triangle. The angle AOC is 90 degrees, and the angles OAC and OCA are 45 degrees each. Now let's pay attention to the quadrilateral BAOC. In this quadrilateral, the sum of the opposite right angles AOC and ABC is 180 degrees, which means these two angles are supplementary. According to cyclic quadrilateral converse theorem, if opposite angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. We have already proved that the opposite angles AOC and ABC are supplementary. Therefore, the quadrilateral BAOC is cyclic, which means there is a circle that passes through all the points BAOC. Let's draw the circle and also delete the excess part of the drawing. Looking at the drawing, it is obvious that inscribed angles ABO and ACO are congruent, according to inscribed angle theorem. The angle ABO is 45 degrees, so the angle OBC is going to be 45 degrees as well. Next, let's continue the segment BC and label the point D on the ray BC such a way that the segment CD is congruent to segment AB. Let also alpha denotes the angle OCD. The angle ACB is equal 180 degrees minus 45 degrees minus alpha equal 135 degrees minus alpha. The angle BAC is equal 90 degrees minus angle ACB, which is equal alpha minus 45 degrees. The angle BAO is equal angle BAC plus 45 degrees equal alpha minus 45 degrees plus 45 degrees equal alpha. So now let's compare the triangle ABO and CDO. The segment AO and segment OC are congruent because the triangle AOC is an isosceles right triangle. The segments AB and CD are congruent and the angles OCD and OAB are congruent and they both equal to alpha. Consequently, the triangles ABO and CDO are congruent according to triangle congruence side angle side rule. In two triangles congruence follows that all the corresponding sides at angles of the triangles are congruent. In particular the angles ABO and CDO are congruent. So the angle CDO is equal 45 degrees. Now let's consider the triangle OBD. In this triangle, the two angles are known. The angles OBD and ODB are 45 degrees. So the angle BOD is going to be 180 degrees minus 45 degrees minus 45 degrees equal 90 degrees. And the triangle OBD is the isosceles right triangle, where the hypotenuse BD is equal segment BC plus segment CD equal segment BC plus segment AB equal A. In the isosceles right triangle OBD, we can calculate the segment BO by multiplying the hypotenuse BD by cosine 45 degrees. The segment BO equals the segment BD times cosine 45 degrees equal A times square root 2 divided by 2 equal A divided by square root 2. So the segment BO is equal A divided by square root 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.